everyone so in this video we are going to talk about naive bayes classifier which is based upon the idea of bayes theorem so basically uh, let us start with one motivation problem let's say you are given um, you want to perform let's say text classification right you want to classify text right so this type of problem can be useful in many domains like you want to uh, categorize if a given SMS is spam or not, right? Or you want to classify email into categories if this email is will go to inbox or it will go to motions. You want to Categorize the movie review as positive, negative, or neutral. And in this kind of a problem, you will have input data in the form of discrete features, right? So let's say you have some discrete features. So in the example of text, the feature could be the presence or absence of any word right so remember we have studied how to convert text into features using a bag of words model so what do you do you make a vector of dictionary size vocab size so vectors of mod v and let's say this word is one this word is one and this word is one right and rest all words are zeros maybe these represents some words this represents i this represents like this represents duplicated so the sentence sentences I like cricket, right? So there would be some certain features in the text, and from those features you want to extract the category of the text, right? So which uh, document or to which class the, the given text belongs to, right? So what we are going to do here is we are going to use Bayes theorem right so remember what is Bayes theorem so we want to predict right so what is this oh, this review text is basically x which comprises of some discrete features so x is having x1 x2 up to up to up to xv features right and we want to figure out what is the probability that the given text belongs to the positive class given the value of the text right so the, these values are the y values right and this value is the x value so again it is a supervised learning algorithm so we would figure out this value so this th i am writing as the probability that y equals to 1 right or let's say probability of y this can be written as p of x given y into p of y divided by p of okay so this was the base theorem so this value we will compute from our training data again this value can again can be computed so this basically is the prior probability that out of all the reviews what percentage of reviews are positive or what percentage of reviews are negative and p of x is the total probability of x right so that probability is nothing but uh, you can also ignore this term because when when you compute it for a particular class right p of y given x equals to p of x given y equals to 1 into p of y equals to 1 divided by p of x right and what what about uh, p of y equals to 0 now let us suppose i am talking only about two classes i'm not talking about neutral reviews as of now right so you this is very simple you can extend it for any number of classes but for our example i'm just talking about two classes right divided by p of x right now suppose this probability comes out to be 0 0.75 so this probability would be 0 0.25 right so <clears throat> the probability which is higher you will take that value and you're done right if you want to predict a class you can compute these two probabilities and you can take the argmax whichever is higher right what you can do you can compute argmax p of pi i 
given x right over all i right the value of i which maximizes this posterior probability and while maximizing this uh, posterior probability you do not need to compute these two terms right because these two are exactly same in both the equation right so the equation which has the numerator as higher value will will be your output right so this can be written as arg max of overall i p of x given by i into p of y i right so this is your predicted hypothesis right this is your hypothesis in a naive bayes theorem right so what we are trying to say here is that value of i for which the posterior probability of y i is maximized is my final answer right so let's say the probability that the given review belongs to positive class is 0.75 and it belongs to negative class is 0.25 so definitely my prediction would be class 1 so this would by this would be my prediction here right okay now let us try to see how we can compute these two values right the first value that we want to compute is this value and the second value we want to compute is this value right so p of y equals to 1 this value is very easy right? how, how you can compute this value so what is the probability that a given re review is positive so it is just uh, just the prior probability right so what you can do in your training data you can count all positive reviews or count uh, count all positive reviews right divided by total reviews right so this will give you what percentage of reviews are in general positive so given a new, new review right given a new re review and i do not know anything about the text of that review i want to say it is a positive or a negative review so i, I can just say this probability is equal to the prior probability right so if 30 percent of the reviews are negative so 70 percent of the reviews are positive so the prior probability that a given review for which we do not know what the text should be is going to be 0.7 right okay so mathematically i can write it as summation i goes from 1 to m if there are m reviews into add one every time where the class of the review is equal to 1 divided by total number of reviews right so this is the probability that p of y equals to 1 the total number of uh, examples where the label is 1 divided by total examples right now we want to compute this probability p of x given y equals to 1 right because in our bayes theorem we com we have computed this value we need this value now so if we get these two values then doing the product we can compute the posterior right so this value can be computed as right um, okay so let us see right so now you have x as a multiple feature right so x x is now having multiple features and if it is a text then this feature vector is of size mod b right so we have to write this thing p of uh, x1 x2 x3 up to up to up to x of mod b given by equals to 1 so this is the value we want to compute right so this value is going to be equal to p of x1 given by into p of x1 given y equals to 1 sorry given sorry x2 and p of x3 given y equals to 1 given x1 and x2 and so on right into p of xb given the class and we have seen all the words from x1 to x of mod b minus 1 right so I am writing this term uh, here right 
this is the product into p of x b given the class and we have seen the words x1 to x of mod b minus 1 so what basically we are trying to say here is that suppose there was a review about a movie which contained the words good awesome and there was a word like right so we are trying to say here is what is the probability that the word that we are going to see is awesome right so p of awesome given the class is positive and you have already seen the word good right this is x1 this is x2 right and when we compute p of like we say the class is positive and you have already seen the word good and you have already seen the word awesome so what is this probability right so this kind of a computation is becoming quite complex right so to simplify it we use one very strong assumption which is called naive base assumption right the naive base assumption says that do not uh naive base assumption says that that probability that a given word xi is coming right given you know the class and maybe some words x1 to xi minus 1 you have already seen so x it says that uh, xi is only conditioned on y it does not depend upon the probability of other words right it does not depend whether you have seen the word good or like or some other word so it basically says that the probability that awesome is there given the class is positive just depends upon the y value not upon the x value so, so we are not we are going to remove all these constraints right so it basically says that he if you have already seen the word good it does not tell you anything about the prob probability of the word awesome right so what uh, i'm trying to say here is that if you have seen one word like good you cannot say that the awesome will occur right or awesome will occur with a higher probability or like will occur with a higher probability right so in general this is not the case right so this is a very strong assumption but still uh, by taking this assumption we are able to simplify the equation and it works pretty well in practice right it works pretty well in practice so that is why this knife based classifier is popular right so what i'm going to say here is this is equal to p of awesome p of awesome given the class is positive and this is going to be equal to p of like given the class is positive so this assumption is the knife based assumption right so it basically says that xi is conditioned on yi and xi is not matlab the probability of xi does not depend upon any other feature right so all all the xi's are independent of each other this is what it it is trying to say right so i hope you have understood the this assumption right so naive base assumption right so if this is the case we can reduce this equation to so this this equation p of x given y equals to 1 can be written as p of x1 given y equals to 1 into p of x2 given y equals to 1 into p of x of mod b given y equals to 1 and which is equal to product of p of xi given y equals to 1 and that's it right now you can write your uh, formula right so posterior probability of predicting the class given x this is equal to product of all likelihoods p of xi given y equals to 1 this is 1 right into p of the prior probability p of y equals to 1 right divided by p of x right so this term is optional when you compute your result in practice but since we are writing the formula we, are, we have written this term right and what is p of x right so p of x can be written using the total probability formula so p of x is going to be p of x 
conditioned on y equals to zero into p of y equals to zero plus p of x given y equals to one into p of y equals to one. Right. So this value you can substitute here, and again this is optional, right? Because our final answer when we take arg max, it just depends upon the value of the numerator, right? And similarly, you can write the probability for the class p of y equals to zero given x. So it is going to be p of x i given y y equals to zero into p of y equals to zero divided by p of x. And then you can find out which value is higher, right? And this is for a binary case, for a binary classification case, this is going to be equal to one minus p of same as one minus this of right p of y equal to one given x. If it is a case of binary classification, otherwise you can use this formula to compute for every class, right? So this is basically the naive Bayes theorem. In the next video, we will try to uh, understand it through one uh, problem that we will solve, right?